people of the internet, my name is Johnny and welcome back. Hi Freddy, yes, hello Freddy. Welcome back to another episode of FNAF Security Breach. We got Freddy because we need to go down here into the Utilidors because I kind of missed something last episode. So right down here, actually, oh, can I do the speedrun skip? Wait, oh, uh, can I, how do, I don't know how to do it though. Oh, 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 there we go. A actual speedrun strats, baby. Oh, <laughs> that's not ideal. So this door right here, you hear it's like, eh, 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 eh. Apparently, Freddy does not have the Glamrock Chica voice box upgrade. Weird, because, well, I have the voice box. So I need to quickly go upgrade Freddy so I can get into here. And also, there's another door down there behind the steam that apparently is a very big secret. So that, ladies and gents, is the goal for today's episode. Upgrade Freddy, get into those doors, maybe beat the Balloon World minigame if I- Yo! Oh! Oh! Freddy, there's no door there. You don't have to do that. Oh my god, that scared me so god dang much, Freddy. You are so... Oh my god. Yeah, upgrade Freddy, get into those doors, maybe play the Balloon World minigame in the daycare theater. And I've also been told the secret door behind the steam that we need the uh, voice box for is going to leave us doing a scavenger hunt around the Pizzaplex for the retro CDs, which we found one in Bonnie Bowl a little bit ago. I don't know what's on the CDs. All I know is that the secret door behind the steam and the retro CDs are connected. All right, let's we do this Freddy's again. Chest, All right, here we go. Mm, I think that was green. Okay, blue. <laughs> green, red, red, blue. Green, red, red, blue. Red, green, red. Boom, boom, boom. And green, blue. Green, blue, yellow, blue. Well done. Reflecting Let's go. Commence testing phase. Ah, shoot. All right, Simon says, baby, here we go. Red. Yeah, Freddy, you don't sound too good. Red, yellow. I don't like that sound. Red, yellow, red. Pretty easy pattern so far. Red, yellow, red. All right. Just two colors right now. Red, yellow, red, red. Wow, that was so easy. Freddy, we have things to do. We can't be lollygagging. All right, 515. I don't know if the CDs spawn at 6. Because I'm pretty sure um, the CDs are the reason why uh, Vanessa says come to the main stage when you try and leave. So, I don't know. We're going to have to wing it. Oh, oh, Freddy, we had it. Let's go, Freddy! <laughs> it took a while, but hey, we did it. All right, so this door, just like that. All right, there is a gift in here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not you guys. Oh, no. Why are you here? This is very similar to their mini game and help wanted. It's not exact, of course, right? Can I get this? Can I get this? Come on, there we go. It's not exact. Haha, <laughs> so funny. But it's very similar. Like the Toy Freddy plushie, the vent, the shelves. Huh. Interesting. Come on, Freddy, let's go. Alright, so this right here you may recognize as the Montgomery chase scene. So Roxanne appears down there. Out that way, Chica, but right here, Monty like smashes down the gate, and now we can go behind here. We do need Freddy. Open this. Go on, Freddy. Get it. He's too powerful. The game can't handle Freddy Fazbear. So, we saw this, and now, Freddy, open this thing. Ugh. So now, we can get down here. Come on, Freddy, let's go. Come on, Freddy. All right, what's this? Oh. Oh, 
Why do I hear Freddy and friends? Is this a door? You can totally get in here. Hold on, what's the what's the message? Oh, I have so many. Uh-oh. It was uh, last week it was Jenkins. I don't think Let's go. It is there, but you can't see. Alone in the dark, I found a key. The key. And then red flag. I did it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it was this one we just got. Torn paper. All right, so apparently, what you have to do, alone in the dark, you have to make light. And how do you make light? Not with the flashlight, because, I mean, it does make light, but no. With the Faz camera. Okay, this was not what I was expecting. What the hell? Uh. So. So now wait a second. Now wait a second. Hold on. So. What the hell? So you open the door. You flash the door. Tiny door appears. Gregory can fit in. Good job, Gregory, for being so small. And then you get the FNAF sister location house with the TV and the exotic butters. Can I eat the exotic butters? Wait. Nope. Okay. And Michael is watching Freddy and Friends on tour. I... Yeah, okay. What is this? Requires items. So this is probably the CDs. So, uh... Wonderful, man. I'm so... You know what? I don't know what this is. This is weird. This is something. That's obviously something. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave this. What the hell? God, bro, what are- These Easter eggs are so weird. This game has the weirdest Easter eggs. First, the Afton family as robots, and now that. Oh my god. All right, let's find some retro CDs. I think- Hello, Freddy. I think it needs to be 6 a.m. though. So, uh, we might have a- bit of a problem. I think I might need to go onto a different save. Oh, Freddy, look, it's you, but plushy. I think I might need to go on a different save to get the CDs. I think this is a good save. I'm going to... Ah, push the button, Gregory. Be a bit taller, thank you. This is a good save. I'm gonna go to the elevator. Rox... Not Roxanne. Vanessa's going to say, go to the main stage. I'm gonna go to the main stage. I think the CD is in the atrium somewhere it's like in the middle of it so let's stay on the lookout for that hey little man there we go do you know what time it is the doors are open i know why are you still here i have lore are you on moving in or you <laughs> i need to job? find lore maybe join the internship program hopefully freddy's eyes can see the cds guy. oh oh just right here oh why, hello there, little retro CD. Let me collect you. Retro CD, question mark, question mark, question mark. All right. Um, shoot. All right, let's get to the exit. Let's stay. And I think I'm, I might just have to do all the CDs in one run, which might suck. Freddy, I need Ooh. lore. Freddy, I need to find all the lore. All right, Freddy, I've got a big list of all the locations. So, let's head out to... Let's see, we got Atrium. Next up is Monte Golf. Oh, I don't have my weapons in this save. I was I was spamming two looking for the, uh, the Faz Blaster. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. All right, this might be a bit difficult. Oh, my God. Okay. I know I can save with the, um... Robot head in Roxy's Raceway, but I don't know because in in my big save The one I was in at the start of the video the CDs weren't showing up At least I don't think they were so I don't know if Resetting the night back to like 5 a.m. Which is what it does uh, Kind of like messes with the CD spawning so I'm just gonna attempt to get them all in one take without dying which Hey, might be difficult, but we're gonna give it a shot. All right, so we need to head out to hole number five in Monte Golf. Let's see, this is hole three. Wait for this guy. Run. Hole four. So hole five is right here. 
Okay. <laughs> Where at hole five? <clears throat> hole five. Oh, right here. <laughs> How am I missing these? Do they not spawn in until you get into Freddy? All right, second CD down. Freddy, look at you glow, my guy. Gosh dang, look at him go. So now we need to go to Kid's Cove. So apparently out here in Kid's Cove in a chest of treasure, Yarg, there is another CD in here. Maybe. Freddy, I need your help. <laughs> Yeah, man. Hey, thanks for coming so fast. <laughs> yeah, so they don't spawn in until you get in Freddy, which is a little strange. Maybe that's why they weren't showing up in my last save, but I don't know. We're getting them right now. Up to Chica's Bakery now, uh, near a cupcake statue. The bakery I know is up here. Alrighty, CD, where is you at? I think... I'm not seeing it, honestly. Oh, right here. All right, I got it. Thank you, Golden Cupcake Lord. Thank you for this retro CD and the juicy lore that I will find with the CD. Uh, up next is Mazer Size near a drink dispenser. All right, sneaking past this guy. Mazer Size, I think. Let's see, this is the snack bar. So it's probably going to be right in here. I would assume that would be a funny location to put it. Freddy! Freddy! <laughs> He's coming. Hey, Freddy. What did I tell you? I'm just too good? All right, next up we have to go to Bonnie Bowl, which uh, I think I don't have the Bonnie Bowl pass. So... I'm going to have to go to Fazer Blast, get the pass, go up to Bonnie Bowl, and there is a CD in Fazer Blast anyway, so I'll just get that while I'm there. So, trophy case, I'm being told. Hello, Freddy. Should have the CD right about there. I should probably get the blaster, but I'll do that later for now. Ooh, toilet prize, let's go! Space keychain, yes, Roxy. So now we can go up to, actually while I'm here, I'm gonna get the one near the bumper cars near Roxy's Raceway, and then, hello, 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 then I'll head up to Bonnie Bowl. Freddy, Freddy, oh Freddy, where is the music disc? I think... Where's the bumper cars? I have no idea, actually. I am still beautiful. Hello, Roxanne. Do you know where the bumper cars are, Roxanne? I need to find a lower in Five Nights at Freddy's. Is this it? Ooh, hello. Is this bumper cars? This looks... Yes, it is. All right, Freddy. We found it. All right, next up is... Oh my god, there's so many. Okay, let's go to Bonnie Bowl and then the West Arcade in the Green Party Room, which is upstairs in the West Arcade, which is exactly where Chica is. Let's go. All right, we know where this is. It's on Bonnie Stage, and it's actually a great place to put it. So then players can hear Freddy mourn the death of Glamrock Bonnie. <laughs> Which is very sad when you think about it. I do not come up here anymore. I miss him. Yeah, Freddy, I, I know. It's sad. It's very sad. But hey, we found lore! Bruh. <laughs> I got a soundboard. I am going to use and abuse that. So now, to the West Arcade. And Freddy... You cannot come with me, I'm sorry. Because game is like, no, Freddy can't come with you. Our excuse is that he has a programming bug and he will dance, he will get down on that dance floor real low. This might be where I die. With no weapon and no Freddy and a rampaging Chica, this might be it. I'm not gonna cap. Oh my god, she's going so far away. Oh my god, wait, this is so good. 
The green room is right here. Uh, uh, how am I supposed to find it if I don't have Freddy? No, wait, hold on, wait, this doesn't make any sense. Wait, wait, hold on, wait. Now, wait, what? Oh, what? Freddy, what? How are you up here? I'm not gonna question it. I'm not gonna question it. I'm gonna get the CD and I'm gonna go. I don't know how he got up here. Um, <laughs> I thought you couldn't go up here, dude. All right, well, let's go. Glamrock Beauty Salon. All right, I was just by there. I wish I knew. Excuse me, Chica, sweetie, honey. I'm Freddy. Goodbye. Here goes Freddy. Now, why are you doing that? Now, why do you do that? Now, hang on, no, wait, wait, no, hold on, hold on, now, wait a second. Wait, I thought you were supposed to be jamming. What? Okay, yeah, no, I'm, I'm leaving. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. The beauty salon is down here, and then I need to go to the rehearsal room. Ah, yes. The beauty salon looks so beautiful. Beauty salon, rehearsal room, and then I'll make my way down to Rockstar Row, and then to the Utilidors, and then there's two tapes that are inaccessible, but I know Steerwool made a patch that moved them somewhere, so we're gonna have to find them. Freddy, what are you doing? Freddy. Freddy! Freddy, come here! Freddy! 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 Photo shoot. Is this photo shoot? This looks like photo shoot. Uh, this is not photo shoot. Alright. There's one out this way, like, outside the building. Is that it? It is not it. What the heck is- Oh no, yes it is. <laughs> Hello, little Roxanne plushie. Can I have this? Thank you. Alright. Uh, let's get out of here. So now- rehearsal room and I'm going to get there by heading out this way because I know I can get there this way. Oi, Freddy, you remember you were dying down here? That was sad. Glad you're better, dude. That guy was levitating. <laughs> you seen that crap, Freddy? All righty then, Freddy Fazbear. Oh god. Freddy! Where is it? Uh, the podium. So... Podium? This? Podium. That's a podium. Aha! I knew it! So there's one here. There's another one on a helpy sign. Which, I mean, there's a lot of helpy signs, so... Let's go back, Freddy. Let's get this one. There it is. Oh, ready or helpy! Let's go! Thank you, helpy. Alright, final three. Under the Freddy drawing in the Utilidor tunnel connected to Rockstar Row. What the heck did that- What did you just say to me? Freddy, do the thing. Freddy, the thing! Oh my god, Freddy! Let's go! <laughs> Freddy drawing? Hold up. Let's go! <laughs> nice. So now the final two are inaccessible, I'm being told. So I'm hoping somewhere online, somebody has the final two locations, because Steerwool did release a patch, moving them. <gasps> Let's go! Jazzin on Twitter, thank you so much. We should only need one more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, baby! Only need one more. Hi, Freddy. Alright, the final one. Thank you so much, Grubby, on Twitter for telling me where it is. Thank you guys so much for helping me out. Uh, it's back in the Utilidors, and it's- you need Monty's Claws, and it's on a foxy plushie near the first Adrum where Freddy and Vanessa had their talk. Let's go, Freddy! <laughs> I love doing that. That's so much fun. Alright, so right down here. Um, past all these things, right here, kablammo, and it should be right up here on the foxy plushie, hello, ta-da, so now, let's go play all of them, 
Right, we have 16. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yep. Let's go. Freddy! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have to get the Faz Cam and I have to kill Chica. Oh my god. What's this? Uh. Was that the bite of 87? It's too funny! Vanny! Vanny! Oh my god! I promise, I pro- Hey, listen. The soundboard is funny and all. I promise I will not abuse it. Except maybe one more time. Purple guy! <laughs> uh, okay, I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> Whoa. What? Ha! Ah! Where did you get? You just kept appearing and appearing. Oh my God! I hate you, Chica. I'm so glad I did the save glitch bug. What you call it? Because if I had gotten that far, and I had died, ooh, I would have been mad. A lot more mad than I am right now, because I've been recording for two hours, baby. Freddy, let me be done. Alright, Freddy, we did it. <laughs> Open it up, I want to hear the- Oh my god. Freddy, you don't know how tired I am. I just want to hear these things and I want to leave. Chop with our friends. Here we go. I don't know how long these are. Hello, Vanessa. How are you feeling today? You look a little tired. Hmm. Well, it's been a while since we last spoke. Is this the How's therapist? Your anxiety been? Yeah, it is. Definitely. You did so well with your calming protocols when we first worked together. Are you still using those? Okay. Yes? Okay, good. Well, now I understand there's a new issue. It came on just recently, rather suddenly. Can you tell me about it? What issue? I've been doing my job. I come in and sit at my desk and do my work. Yes, yes. Desk job, yes, you do. huh? Your performance reviews are good. But a routine check of your online history has revealed that you've spent quite a bit of time with someone in an encrypted conversation. We have transcripts, and I've read them. But it's not clear what you're talking about in these conversations. I can't make sense of it. You must be getting something from these that I'm not getting, right? Glitch trap? Who are you talking to in these? No one. Sometimes I talk with Lewis. He's in the marketing department. Oh! Nice, I guess. FNAF AR connection. Yes, I see Lewis here. But there's someone else. So, this is... Okay. That's... Wow. So this is during FNAF AR, where she's working at the fun time service, right? Good morning. Isn't it a pretty day? No? What's the matter? Oh, right. Too bright. I'll pull the shades. Uh-huh. <laughs> Better? Yeah. When the shades pulled, it feels like we're in a cubbyhole or a cave. Yeah? Hmm. So you're not talking to me again today? Again? This isn't all that productive, you know. Don't you think the sessions are more successful when you talk to me? Probably. You know, everyone associated with this company gets performance reviews, right? When my sessions don't get results, my reviews aren't very good. Huh. If you don't want to talk for your own sake, how about for mine? You don't want me to get in trouble, do you? I could be put in the corner for a timeout. Yeah, you think that's funny, huh? Okay, so she's not talking anymore. Here we go. Hi, go ahead. Sit down. I don't know you. What happened to... Oh, we'll get to know each other in no time. 
I've read through all your files, so I feel like we've been talking for weeks. I feel like I know your dad, too. Bill, right? Your dad's name was Bill? Bill. Not Will. Let's, let's make that clear. I'm sorry. What did you say? I try to do what I'm supposed to do. I know you do. Your supervisor notes that you follow instructions perfectly. Your dad made you follow instructions, didn't he? I'm talking about the custody battle between your mum and your dad. Oh. Your dad didn't play fair, did he? Oh. He used to make your mum look bad in court. I'm so sorry that happened to you. Do you want to talk about how that felt? I suppose I don't need you to tell me it felt bad to have a parent scare you into saying things that weren't true. He manipulated you. It wasn't your fault. It's really sad. But it's common for one parent to use their child to hurt the other parent. I know your mom after she lost the custody case. Hey! I was what? supposed to be a good girl. What happened to her had nothing to do with you. Even though it was your testimony that did it. What is happening? Was that testimony true? No, I didn't think so. But your dad is to blame. Not you. Okay, okay, hold on. What? That, that was a lot, that was a lot. So, Vanessa's parents, her dad Bill, not Will, Bill, and her mom, which I'm guessing that glitch was them, like, bleeping out the name, um, they had a custody battle, dad was manipulative, used Vanessa to win, and Vanessa kind of regrets it, and the testimony was not true. This is a lot, oh my god. You're not going to talk to me? No? What's the problem? Oh, the flowers? Yes, these are particularly fragrant today, aren't they? I'll move them. <laughs> I love the there. sound effects. Now, let's see. What are you looking at? You're amazingly alert, aren't you? All right. Well, I'd like to have you tell me about yourself. But I can see that you're not going to do that. Or are you? All right then. If you aren't going to talk to me, I'll just go by these notes. Oh. You just sit there and be comfy. <laughs> or not. That chair doesn't really fit you, does it? What? Well, this won't take long. Let's see. Your previous counselor is no longer available. Does that bother you? No? You don't look surprised to see me sitting here instead of your last therapist. Huh. Well, then, let's get to it. I'll admit that some of what's in your file is a little surprising. Overall, you don't come across as a troublemaker. But if you read between the lines, it's clear that you have a little rebellious side, Ooh. right? And I'm surprised by your knowledge of computers. You're something of a phenom. Do you know what that word means? I don't. <laughs> it means you have unusual skill. Like a hacker. Ooh. I assume you know what a hacker is. Yes. Yes? Do you think of yourself as a hacker? Okay. I think Vanessa killed the other therapist. I, I think that's obvious. Good morning, Vanessa. Let's jump right in, shall we? I got a message last night about you... And I have to be honest, it was upsetting. Oh. Apparently, the IT department has put together a pretty lengthy report chronicling non-job-related communications that have been coming to your computer. Oh. The fact that you're still doing something obviously not work-related on the job is disturbing enough. But what bothers me about what I read is that the messages you're getting seem very manipulative in nature. Do you know who I'm talking about? Glitch trap, maybe? I get a lot of messages from friends. Friends? I like when Lewis writes to me. He's funny. I'm not talking about Lewis. She likes Lewis. You know who I'm talking about. Why won't you open up about it? What you might not know is that this person who's been sending you messages has been hacking into your personal files, too. Yep. These are the same files I have here. 
These files are full of details about your life. Do you know what that means? I'm not in the tech department. I just type on the computers. I know that. Huh. But what matters here is that this person who is contacting you knows a lot about you. Lots of people know more than I do. Sometimes I need to listen. Oh. 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 That's so weird. That's such a weird line. I don't like the sound of that line. Is this glitch trap? This has to be glitch trap, right? I can't think of anybody else who it could be. Good morning. It's good to meet you. I've read your files, so I'm up to speed a new? on what you and your previous therapists have worked on. A new one. Sure, you can have a candy. I love one too. What? Is she killing all of them? You look chill sitting there like that. Not a care in the world, huh? Whoa, that's weird. All right. Well, I'd like to start by talking about your parents. What happened to them and you? It was tragic. But when I looked through the notes, I didn't get a sense that you've processed that emotionally. When I read your account of what happened, it came across as, well, more of an objective rather than a subjective narrative. Oh. Oh, sorry. You don't know what that means, do you? <laughs> what I mean is that the way you told the story is more like you were reading something from a book than you were talking about your own past. Hmm. That makes me think you've cut yourself off from it. Is that right? Not sure? Well, I see in your file that you spend a lot of time by yourself and are good at self-dialogue. You know what I mean? Asking yourself questions and getting answers. So self-dialogue. Ask yourself how you really feel about your past. Maybe you should give yourself a chance to really look at what happened and let yourself be upset about it. So you can let it go. Wow. These tapes are uh, certainly something. Next one. Here we go. Hi, Vanessa. Would you like a candy? Butterscotch today. Butterscotch. No, thank you. Wow. Those have 35 calories a piece. <laughs> All right. Mm. Well, they taste good to me. Hmm. Okay. I thought we could do something today that will help us get to know one another better. It looks like you've never taken an ink blot test, right? A what? No? Okay. Then I'm going to show you some ink blots. Oh, like this I know what I mean. And I want you to tell me the first thing it makes you think of. Here we go. What do you see here? A treehouse. Hmm, it does look sort of like a treehouse, doesn't it? <laughs> do you like treehouses? I like to sit outside and read. That's good. Now, what about this one? A beetle. Really? Looks like a face to me. That's very interesting. She sees what she sees. <laughs> treehouse and a beetle. I can't think of anything to do with a beetle. Treehouse. Uh, I don't think of anything. When she said sit outside and read, I did think of the high school toy Chica years, cause Chica is out, no, that's a notebook, damn it. Cause in that cutscene, Chica's sitting under a tree with a book. I think it's a notebook, not she's reading a book, but still a book, so I don't know. Number eight. Have you thought more about what we talked about? In our last session, you told me you were sad and scared about what happened to you. I suggested you write down exactly what made you so sad and scared. Did you do that? Huh. You know, I work with people of all ages, from little kids to the very elderly, and everyone reacts to tragedy differently. Tragedy always leads to a feeling of loss. It's a hole that feels funny, right? Yeah. So, if you could process those feelings, how do you think it would affect your fantasies? Would you keep them in the way they are? Okay, uh, that was a quick one. <laughs> Moving on. What are you doing? Oh, you like those? I do Like too. what? They smell so sweet, I... don't they? Apparently, the janitor on this floor has a garden and has been putting bouquets in the offices here for years. Do you ever grow things? I can't help but think of no? FNAF 4 flowers. I, a lot. I know you do. Maybe more than you should. More free time would do you good. 
Do you have a hobby? No? Perhaps we could find one for you. Like a sport. No? Hmm. Come on, Vanessa, throw some pigskin! I have a craft space in my basement. Maybe I could come up with something you could learn to do. I don't like dark basements. Well, I, I don't either. You don't see me killing my therapist. <laughs> yeah, um, they keep talking about flowers, and I can't help but think of the FNAF 4 flowers that appear on the bedside table. I don't know if that means anything. Flowers are flowers, so I don't know. I'd say make yourself comfortable, but I think you already are. It looks like you could take a nap. Why is she so comfortable nice all of a sudden? Hair, isn't it? According to these message logs, it used to not fit you've been her. working pretty late over the last couple of Ooh. weeks. Or not working. Are you ready to talk about who you're interacting with? From what I can see here, the interaction is getting more serious. Come on, with ten tapes in, let us know. Is it distracting you from your work? Yeah. My work is important. There's a non-disclosure agreement. Oh, good response. Good A. Hey, my girl, good response. NDA, can't talk about it. I don't know what's happening. Good morning, Vanessa. Well, I can't blame you for looking out the window instead of listening to me. It's a gorgeous day, isn't it? Yes. I like the blue sky. Hmm, so do I. What is that sound? Now, let's see what we can get done on this nice sunny day. Okay, here we go. I know part of your job requires you to do online searches, but a routine audit of your search history has revealed that you're doing a little private search. We've heard about this in the emails. Time. Is that right? I get breaks. <laughs> That's true. So, on your breaks, it looks like you were shopping for a costume. Ooh. You purchased some fake fur material. Ooh. What are you gonna the make? The fabric! What was that? Did you say the costume is a secret? Why is that? It's a surprise! I can't talk about this. He said he would always be watching. He could be here or there or anywhere. Are you talking about your dad? Have those feelings come up again? It's not her I dad. sounding like a broken record, but this is something you really need to resolve if you're ever going to be happy. I have. I compartmentalized him. He's locked away. No, wait. That's wait. That's not what wait. I mean. You can't just ignore an issue. The door? You have to face your memory on it. of the experiences and process them so you can let it go. So you don't get triggered anymore. You can use a sort of self-dialogue to release these things. I don't like doing that. Hmm. Well, okay. We'll get back to that. I'd really like to know something about this costume. What's it for? She locked things away, just like how in the end of FNAF Help Wanted, there's an ending where you lock a glitch trap away, but in Princess Quest 3, you open the door with the key and you unleash him again. Yes? Maybe? Am I finally understanding the FNAF lore? I don't know. <laughs> I understand you'll be transferring to a different location soon. Oh. I'll be sorry to see you go. I think we've been making progress. Don't you? You can request to come back and speak with me more on your own time, though. Did you know that? Our sessions don't have to be company mandated. I have all sorts of clients, Vanessa. I don't just work with corporations. I work with individuals and small groups. Hmm. I even work in schools. I'm wherever I'm needed. I'm needed somewhere else now. Oh. Thank you. So she's leaving wherever she is right now because she's needed she's needed somewhere else okay when i'm getting to know a new client i like to start by finding out directly from them what they like is to this do. another therapist spend all the time you have nothing well how do you feel about sports you like a little sports? bit of pigskin every now and then vanessa yeah. no. toss the football oh i get it you like to watch them, but not play them. Amen. You like being inside, don't you? I get that. Lots of weird stuff outdoors. True. Yeah, I understand. Well, 
I hate to do this right off the bat, but I've been directed to ask you about this. Apparently, I'm the fourth yeah, therapist. Yeah, she's new. And apparently, all three of your former therapists have gone. Oh my missing, God, she's killing or me. Two of them are missing. I don't want to scare you, but I have to tell you that one of them was found dead. Oh. That doesn't seem to upset you. Oh. Well, then I guess I'll go ahead and tell you that the woman's body was pretty messed oh. up. It looked like it was mangled by machinery. Eh. That doesn't bother you either? Hmm. It's all pretty strange, I think. I'm not clear on the circumstances. Apparently the police don't have any evidence. How does all of this make you feel? Maybe I should be watching my <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't be joking about yeah, that's that. that's funny, isn't it? Okay, shall we move on to something lighter? Yeah, so she's definitely killed that one. I don't know about the other two. That's weird that they're only missing. They're not dead yet. Do you know a place called Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza? Oh! I'll take, I'll take your silence. Name drop! Is. And besides, I know you know it. Because the technicians who work for Pizzaplex know you. Yeah. Or rather, I guess it would be better to say that they think they Ooh. do. They report that they've caught you on Ooh. camera. Or at least it appears Ooh. to be you. Nothing to say about that? Well, the techs are convinced that you've hacked into their system many times. She's done that. Lost and found. Although, I'll admit I don't see any proof here. Seems like they have more of a gut feeling than fact. <laughs> that Vanessa chick. I'm telling you. causing all kinds of problems. Hmm. <laughs> you get a kick out of that? The idea of techs running around like chickens with their heads cut off? <laughs> yeah, that's a funny image, isn't it? Is she talking about... But Freddy? seriously... I have to say that I think it's weird that you'd spend so much time in such a busy, social place. You seem like more of a loner to me. Lots of time by yourself instead of with friends. Lots of time talking to yourself. Right? Is it the electronics you like? I saw in your oh, file wait. that you've developed software programs that talk to you and repeat That's places, weird. Right? Charlie did that. The program asks you questions and prompts you for responses. That's weird. It's kind of like your own self-therapy, isn't it? Another way of talking to yourself to work things out, right? When I saw some of your recent encrypted conversation logs, that's what I thought I was looking at. It felt like I was watching someone go back and forth in their own head. Maybe she. But the text found something that's different than that. When I read what they found, at first, I thought I was looking at more examples of you just talking with yourself. Then I realized it was different. When I study this, it sounds like there is someone else responsible. We know! Who is it? We've done this for 14 CDs, we know there's someone else there. <laughs> but yeah, Charlie in the trilogy of books had a very similar device. She had two endo heads that like repeated phrases and talked to each other. I don't think that's supposed to be a connection, but I don't know, it's just a interesting observation. Also, I finally understand what's happening, I think. So, Vanessa had to leave to go to Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizzaplex because underneath the Pizzaplex, we know this, is the FNAF 6 location, the real one. And Vanessa probably knows, all right, you know, Springtrap, Afton, Glitchtrap, whatever, he's down there. I need to go there and I need to free him. I need to resurrect him or something. So, I think that's why she's here. That's why she needed to leave. And tape 15, here we go. <laughs> This is a lot. I saw some inkblot test results in your file. I like inkblot. Me too. Tests. It's funny. You want to do it? Oh yeah. Yes. Okay. How about a butterfly. This? What do you see? What? You want to hold it? Okay. <laughs> no more. You think it's a mask? It reminds you of a mask? Like a disguise? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe like a little bunny mask? You like the idea of being a little disguised? bunny mask? Disguises let you be sort of invisible, don't they? You can get away with almost anything when you're invisible. Can't True, you? like murder. <laughs> yeah. You like, like stabbing. That idea? Huh? Well, okay. Moving on. 
I have another report we need to talk about. All right, about. make it quick. Huh. Apparently, the techs were reviewing communications going in and out of this building, and they came across some interesting things. They say you were in communication with Yes! Them. Oh my god! Or maybe some We know! Pretty strange. <laughs> what do you think about that? Nothing? Well, the techs say it looked to them like it was an attempt to manipulate Yes! You, or maybe to We know! Somewhere. Oh my gosh. We're gonna keep doing this? Tape there, 16? That's better. On this side of the desk. I can see your eyes. They're yellow now. The thing is, when I read the communications, I get something different out of them. I don't think you're being manipulated here. I think you're the one doing the manipulation. That's weird. No comment? Huh? Okay. Then how That's about weird. this? I have this still shot the text pulled from the security footage that recorded you in the pizza mm -hmm. box. That's you, isn't it? I know this image is distorted, but I think it looks like you. And you're not alone here. You're talking to someone. Or something. It's hard to tell. Yeah. What are those things? They almost look like rabbits. Yes! Animals. What? You find that amusing? <laughs> well, I guess it is. <laughs> All right, so the rabbit ears are either the mask, the vanny mask, the vanny suit, or could be the plushie, the glitchy plushie, glitch trap, good old glitchy. Final tape. Please don't be weird, freaking lore that messes up everything. I got another message from the text at the pizza plex. I'm afraid it's about you again. No way. The techs have been struggling to fix some serious glitches with the robot. Yes. I'm not sure what exactly is wrong, except that it's making the robots more eerie than entertaining. Uh -huh. You like that? Eerie instead of entertaining? We've Thanks, been doing that for it's really nearly eight years funny. now. <laughs> Apparently, the glitch extended beyond the Wait? robots. It went system-wide. It began infecting all the machines, and when the text traced the glitch back to its origin, it led mm -hmm. them to you. I'm, I'm not going to pretend to understand everything I'm reading here, but what I get is that the system-wide glitch was like a cascade that was broadcasting a very dangerous mm. message. While the techs were trying to reprogram the system to remove the glitch, the source of the glitch shifted. You'll have to excuse me, I'm not all that familiar with computer programming, so Shifted. I might get this wrong, but what I understand is that the glitch stopped being a glitch and turned into an intentional set of subroutines that were aimed at creating the same thing the glitch uh -huh. created. Those subroutines seem to have come uh -huh. from you. Can you explain Well, that? you see. Listen. I'm on your side here. Don't say that. Our sessions are just between well. you and me. <laughs> well. The techs can't prove what they think, so you're not in trouble. I just thought you could tell me what you're trying to do. Maybe if we could get to the bottom of that, it could help you. What do you think? Still not talking? All right. Well, then let's do this. Why don't we talk about the research I did in your past, shall we? Some therapists think they should only focus on information they get from their clients, but some therapists, like me, think it's helpful to find out about clients from other sources. Wanna guess what I found out when I looked into the tragedy of oh. your past? All that stuff about your parents? You aren't even gonna look at me? She's affected Fine. by that. You can look at the floor all you want. But it won't change the fact that none of what you said in your file about your parents was true. Oh. The truth is, you had great oh. parents. A great uh. childhood. Why did you lie? Look at me. Tell me why you lied. You... 
Well, I can understand why you might feel angry about the way I just confronted you. <laughs> why don't we come back to this? No, wait. Day? The tape. You're shaking your head as though that's not oh. going to happen. Oh, oh, she's not going to come back. She's not going to talk about that. She's not going to talk about that. So she's been lying. She's a lying snake. Oh my god. Oh my god. Who would have thought? All right. Well, that was all the tapes. <laughs> Wonderful, wonderful. You know what? Hey, boys, that was that was a trip. That was a trip, all right. Freddy, Freddy, the lower. Freddy, the lower. She was lying the whole time. Would you believe it, Freddy? I'm questioning everything I've ever been told again. All right, that was all the retro CD locations and also playing them. And that was two and a half hours of recording. So, uh... This is gonna be a long episode, but uh, yeah, speculate down in the comments. What the heck did we just listen to? What's happening with Vanessa? Hi, Freddy. You can't. Yes, we're saying goodbye. We're saying goodbye now. What do you think's going on? Uh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I have no clue. This is this is too much for my little stupid brain right here. Um, but I wonder, is that it? Are we done? FNAF security breach? Is this the final episode? Probably not, but. I think we've gotten all the endings. I think we found all the big secrets. So yes, Freddy, I'm I'm doing the outro. Chill. I think this might be it, but I'm not gonna call it right now because I have a feeling we're gonna have to come back to do something. So that's gonna do it for this episode of FNAF Security Breach, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.